This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this sound. It's an 808 style electronic kick. We're going to start off with a new instance of Massive. And blank preset. Let me shut off this other track. All right, blank preset. I'm going to select the sine square, move the wavetable position all the way to sine, shut off the other oscillators. You might have to turn up your headphones or speakers to hear that. It's a pretty low sub bass sound. The note that I'm playing is a low C, I believe. Let me add a new MIDI item. So I'm playing a C1. I'll just draw that in. All right. I'm going to take envelope four, which is applied to the amp, and shorten it. Take the level of decay down. So we have this short, attacky sub sound. Now we're going to take envelope one, apply it to the pitch, and raise it up about two octaves to 24. So this gives me a little pitch fall from a higher pitch down to the uh, bass pitch that I selected. And I'm going to adjust the envelope. So we have a short sort of drum sounding uh, setup right now, but there's a click that occurs at the end. So to resolve that click, I'm going to go back to envelope 4 and turn up the release. And then go to envelope one and turn up the release of that as well. So now we have the initial attack, but no click at the end. And that's it. That's essentially your 808 style kick. Now there's a number of things you can do to tweak this and make it unique. Um, you can grab the number one pitch envelope and adjust the decay. You can hear that allows me to get more of a short, abrupt kick or something a little bit longer and more pitched. You can also grab envelope 4, and if you tweak the decay level for that, so if you go shorter you get more of an attack. And if I adjust envelope one, another thing that you can do is if you take the wavetable position and you move it from sine to square, you can give yourself a more aggressive sound. It's a little bit more hard style. And if you want to add even more variation, you can grab one of the LFOs and apply it here. that and then with the variation
and that's it. Uh, manipulating envelope one, envelope four, and adding in a little variation to the pitch using the LFO gives you a good palette of sounds to choose from to make a unique 808 sound. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and check out bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.